I don't know if you need the shovel one. I think all regions are the, uh... Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, no. It's always a good idea to bring some... Some of these, and maybe, like, a bandage. Okay. I'll bring a second key. I got, I got the money. I believe in myself. Okay. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Holy crap. Okay, complete 100% of room battles. Well, that makes this kind of an easy track. Yeah, so realistically, a mark team is not very good against, like, random groups like this. The main benefit of a, of a team dedicated to, like, marking enemies is they're incredibly good against... Oh, I forgot to get the right mark. That's what I did wrong. Demon's ball! Uh, marking teams are incredibly good against single targets. I think I completely crushed the alligator. Obliterated. With, uh... I completely crushed the alligator with a, uh, a mark squad. We bleed, extra damage versus marks. Hell yeah. Oh, it's only a one damage bleed though, that sucks. This is a really creepy team. Yeah, it is. We just have to switch out the Houndsmaster for something, um... Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Let's see. Don't need to do anything else. We'll just do that. I guess an abomination or something would Continually do a decent job. Destroy oh, well. them anyway, oh, it's a bleed stone. That's oh, that's bleed skill chance. Hell yeah, put that on him. Wonder if you can actually get enough uh, bleed skill chance that uh, that you can actually uh, bleed skeletons in this game. Probably not. It'd be interesting to try. I actually really want to try it now. Okay, so what do we got? The swine drummer is kind of a pain in the ass. Let's pull him up. Oh, he's he counts as both human and beast. All right, so that actually puts us in kind of a good position because how's How's Master's good against Beast? We're not marked, though. We could do a target whistle. Do a target whistle on him. They're just... Mortality clarified in a single strike. on him, strike. though. Crap. Okay, we do have Visage, but... Press this death. advantage. Give them no quarter. Be gone, fiend. Stop! Okay, there we are. Weird reconstruction. There, that's what I needed. Okay, we could do a target whistle. But I should probably just do Hound's Rush, because these guys are considered beasts. Yeah, so honestly, marking, I think, here probably isn't particularly Masterfully helpful. Executed. We do have a lot of come hither moves, which is kind of interesting. And it is marked. Mars. Success so clearly in view. Or is okay. it merely a trick of the light? Heirloom chest has goodies. Let's read the journal. Or we've read the journal. Let's put that away. Yes, yeah, so we're we're in kind of hurdy town already. I'll just have to switch the. Uh, such I'll just have to switch the occultist over to, uh... These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Uh, the occultist purely over the healing. But that should be fine. Okay. Weird reconstruction, not so helpful. Uh, let's see, do we target whistle? A good target whistle. Or we could just Hound's Rush. Hound's Rush doesn't do... It does a decent amount of damage. Beast marks... Alternatively, I, 
Let's just do a Hound's Harry. Small amount of damage, and that'll let me, uh... If you come hither, we can uppercut. Or I could just kill. Because I think, I think he does enough damage that he'll just be able to kill him ever. Not her, though. Oh, that's fine. So it is possible to bleed a skeleton. You just really need to debuff their resists. Good to know. I'll try that someday. <sighs> they really like to do stressful incantation on the Houndmaster. It certainly makes my job harder. Okay. I'll just kill him. Annihilated. Yeah, bounty hunters do a lot of damage. I might try like a... Come on. I might try like a, a stun round at some point. Uh, with like a bounty hunter or two. We have Brand. Brand her in the back. Worst comes to worst, we sick doggy on her. Sick doggy. As the there we go. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. I'm just gonna focus fire. So what do we what do we get? We have. I guess I'll give her the bleed chance. Trinket. Uh, let's see. And oh, that wasn't even the uh, that wasn't even the fight we we're looking for. We do also have some food, which considering we're not even camping on this run, let's just uh, let's just heal back up. Feels wasteful to just squander all that food there. But well. Waste not, we'll be fine. Oh, I hate these worms. I remember why I don't come to the Warrens very often. Let's just bring the Swine Drummer up. Shame it doesn't mark him as well. It'd be great if uh, the, the Eldritch Pole came with a mark. Oh well, and whammo! Decimated. Oof. He is... Wrecking shop. I don't think that any of these are particularly beast marked. Let's go for the swine wretch. Indicate. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill it. She's unfortunately just a little bit weaker. Then again, she's rank one, so I haven't upgraded. I haven't upgraded her. Uh, her gives. We've got to start crying havoc, actually. Or he's just going to be in trouble. We also don't have any AoE. Oh, that's fine. We do impurity. have Buff Skeletor, who is living up to his name and then some. Now, he's bleeding, but he's bleeding for Confidence long. surges as the enemy crumbles. we got tentacle time. Stop nibbling on me! At least it doesn't make him uh, any more stressed than he already is, which is good. It would make me stressed if I had a critter that was... Whoa! Hi! Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. 20% damage. 6% crit. Reduced crit on range. Reduced accuracy. Reduced speed. Big old bonus to beast. That's an interesting... That's interesting. I did not mean to click on that. Alright, well, she got it anyway. Let's see. Medicinal herbs. Oop. What's that do? Damage it. Whoa. 30% extra damage until camp. That's actually really good. And onwards to the last fight. Yeah, we'll be fine. This is... I mean, this was a... A short round anyway. Okay, so that was a 50% chance that I... Got lucky on. And we want nothing to do with that one. You can cleanse it, but cleansing it actually makes the outcome even worse. So why would you? Alright, hello, giant mess. We should probably go for the swine drummer. I could do abyssal artillery. But that does honestly no damage. Yoink! Uh, let's see, Hound's Harry? Small amount of damage, or I could... No, let's do Hound's Harry. The little bit of extra bleed, ship, whatever, will help. I I don't remember. I think you can actually get that up so it does even more bleed. Uh, 
like two damage. Maybe three by the end? Unfortunately, you can't uh, just look at the... You can't just look at the... Not the mark. Uh, you can't look at the, the skill upgrade and be like, So, planning ahead, is this character any good or not? Which honestly sucks a little bit, because that would be a lovely little perk. Another one falls. Okay. Now, clears all corpses. Hello, swine wretch. Yeah, clearing all corpses is an incredibly helpful thing. I usually don't think about it too much, but it, it makes a massive difference on, on runs like this. Poor... Poor shags and scoobs. They were just... They were just along, along for the ride. And they have just... I think every single run we've had Shags and Scoobs on, they get singled out real hard. Beware. Actually, it really isn't that big of a deal. Anyway, Triumphant back to the Hamlet. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. That was good Some timing. experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Okay, Fear of Unholy, so extra stress damage, stun resist. So we got some things that we're going to want to deal with. Horrors has plus 10% max HP. That's actually pretty good. A fresh irritant to some. A okay. sanguine memory to me. The shags and scoobs. You guys get to uh, pray for a little while. Japan, you just picked up Fear of Unholy. Maybe? Maybe let's not deal with that, though. I think I should probably work on managing these guys. Guilty Conscience. Needs real and imagined. Let's uh, let's do Plague Knight, the Yips. We should get rid of. And you know what? The rest of this I can manage later. All right. So we are back and we are good to go. So what do we, what do we do? Who do we have? So last thing we did was we stuck Plague Knight in the Sanitarium to get rid of the Yips because that's a serious problem. What else do we have? Let's, let's take a look at my A team. Sort by level. Dismiss. What's wrong with you? Bad healer, not a big deal. Known cheat, not a big deal. Nervous bleeder is kind of a pain, and ashen, kind of annoying, but not that big of a deal. Hagumania. Uh, I don't know if those are big deals. Guilty conscience. Bears the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Yeah, see, I don't know if any of these specifically are going to hold me back that much. Let's see. Does this playthrough have the mod characters or just new skins? Oh shoot! I was gonna, I was gonna quickly do that. Let's uh, bop out for a second before we go anywhere. Let's go get some mod characters. Okay, so now that we've in, or now that we've got a bunch of mods, let's turn them on. Oh, it kind of lagged when it loaded that up. That's worrying. Okay, so let's probably turn on the background variations. They're probably fine. I don't know about repeatable quests, Raven Fiend. Cataphract, uh, and pretty much anything from any skin or Exless mods or uh, AJ, Action Jack. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of turn a bunch of these on and hopefully, hopefully the game will function. Uh, I think it will. I mean, most of them are compatible. It's just the question of how many can you jam on before the game freaks out at you and gets upset. And obviously, uh, over the course of the, this playthrough, we will probably snowball some more mods. Uh, they'll hit the mod pack soon. And, uh, and that way you guys can get it. Though honestly, like, if you want to find any of these mods, just go on the Steam Workshop. You should be able to find Trouble them there, no problem. yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Okay, I believe I got new skins for... There we go. I got new skins for the, uh... For the characters, so... We could do... We could have Renald be the, um... Be that skin. Or we could make him into an Abyss Walker. Well, not Abyss Walker. Uh, Artorius. Sorry. There's an Abyss Walker class, and I was looking at it and thinking about it. What do you guys think? Do we want to do, um... There's a really good-looking Dragon Slayer Hellion on Nexus. Oh, but I'd have to go to Nexus. 
Uh, I'll look into that next time. Mostly I've been rolling uh, Steam Workshop because it's easier. And we've also got a couple of different flavors of Artorius, too. It's tempting to actually keep him as the, uh... Keep him as this for now, because that's what I'm used to. And Shovel Knight, I don't know if I'm going to switch either. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay, we also have Puff Skeletor. I, I got a bunch of skins, and I don't know how many of them I'm going to use. Lefty, though. Oh. Okay, so this is the Anubis skin. Which actually isn't like, uh... It isn't as substantial as I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's go with that one. I like that one. I was expecting more of a direct Anubis face the entire way through, but no, there's... There's still a face underneath that. Don't forget about the Ancestor skin. Yeah, the question is, do we want... Do we want the Ancestor skin? Or do we want, uh... The Bloodborne outfit? Oh. Nope, the Ancestor skin might be, uh... Might not be functional right now. I don't know. Okay. Well, I could probably keep fiddling with this, but... We'll get as we go along. Was there... Did I get one for the Hellion? Or, no, I haven't gotten I haven't gotten the one for the Hellion yet, so I'll look at that later. Yeah, so we'll keep Bloodborne, mainly because we don't have a choice here. Uh, let's see, do we have a proper occultist? I'm actually really tempted to just go into one of these and just slap the Wanderbot head on top of it. I could do it with the uh, occultist, because I haven't... I don't think I've seen any good occultist skins in the workshop. If any of you guys have recommendations, straight up link them to me, it's so much easier. Uh, for... for that. Okay, so... Immediate questions. Guild. Let's take a look at Buff Skeletor. So we could upgrade Buff Skeletor. We could probably upgrade Horrors. What do we want to do with ourselves? We just had a... one hell of a fight. Against, uh... Against the... the Preacher dude. Let's see, that's not actually the boss. We could go back to the Warrens or the Wheel. I guess let's figure out where we can go first. Because I want to go to the farmstead today. Because I've, I've been putting that off. Let's see. About the revenant class you grabbed. You cannot use a religious class like Vestal and a couple of others with them. Okay. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Extra damage versus beasts. Or we could just do one of the shorter ones. Uh, accuracy... Actually, now that I'm looking at it, extra accuracy to rain skill seems really good. Okay. So who do we want to use for this? Because we know where we're going. Let's... Let's take a look at, uh... Donut Swing. Can I upgrade him? No. What about... And he's... He's fully upgraded there. Hurts. Can I upgrade him? Yes. So Punish, Rain of Sorrows, Sanguinate, and Reclaim. Was it Reclaim? No, no, it's not reclaim, it's redeem. Okay, that's kind of pricey. I shouldn't do that too much. Uh, let's see. Can't upgrade Plague Knight. What about Renald? Renald's max. Dismas. Okay, every everybody here is maxed out. Hmm. What about... Shags and Scoobs. Oh, he's currently de-stressing, so I can't do anything with him. Okay. Well, if that's out... What's, um... What are some characters that I haven't used much? I could keep with the, uh, the Focus Fire team. And just, do we have another character for marking? We don't? I could bring along... I kind of want to bring up Lefty. Because Lefty would be kind of fun. Hmm, Mustard. I haven't been using Shovel Knight that much. I've never touched, uh... I've never touched this guy, but I think I want to put him off until I have more options. Um... Let's get rid of Horrors. She wasn't very good. Forward, forward, back, back. Yeah, let's let's bring Lefty along. Buff Skeletor was doing pretty well, though. Oh, we gotta we gotta upgrade Buff Skeletor because I don't I think we just had him on the party. We didn't actually 
like we looked at it, but we didn't actually do anything with it. Um, hither, and uppercut. And yeah, we've we've maxed as much of his equipment as I think I can. Nope, I can go further. Uh, let's see, do we have any others? Hurts. Uh, let's make sure Lefty is upgraded. She is not. This is going to be a pricey run. Maybe I bring the antiquary. Maybe we'll do an antiquarian run at some point. Jags and scoobs, donuts, donut swing, horrors. Okay, so that just drove up uh, survivability by like a long shot. Let's see. So we've got we've got buff Skeletor, we've got her. No, does she have a mark skill? Now that I'm thinking about it, no, she's she's got a D stealth. And we do also have Captivate, which is extra damage versus marks. Back we go. So she actually fits well into the build. I don't think she can mark anything. But the extra damage versus marked seems like a good idea. We could also do Serpent Sway. I'll grab it. I'll just grab every one of them. We've got the money. Uh, let's see. Wonder when are their shirts going to be available? I gotta, I gotta figure out who first. Oh, this one also does a blight. What's the difference? Captivate is ranged, reduced damage, but bonus damage versus marked. I'm gonna switch out Ad Adder's Kiss for Captivate, uh, cause the extra damage versus marked seems like a good idea. Forward, forward, back. Do we want Puncture? Now let's let's grab Serpent Sway. Two blocks seems like a good idea. Okay, so in that case, we just want one more party member. I could bring Snack along. She was kind of nice. Or we, we could work on, like, Mustard or something. It's tempting to bring Minelli, but I... Yeah, let's, let's bring... Uh... Hmm... Do we want to bring her along? Because we got Festering Vapors. Which kind of does damage. Nah. I was hoping I could get an Arbalist here. If I had an Arbalist, this would be easier. What about Donut Swing? We could switch it so he's got Rampart and Bellow instead. And just have him... Um... Sure. Let's let's bring Donut Swing along. Just have him sit, him, sit in the back line yelling about shit. Uh, so we'll grab Bellow instead. Instead. Oh no, this is the wrong direction. Where am I going? I'm spending like half of half of the this episode doing prep. Oh well, I mean you kinda need to do it. This changed. I don't know if it's a mod that did this or if it was like a new patch or something. I can't say I can complain. It's just a little disorienting, sort of. Uh let's see. So we're going we're going into the Warrens. Warrens is... I, the Warrens is like the weird garbage one. No, never mind. Warrens is really easy. You just need medicinal herbs. There we go. Alright, good luck, team. I believe in you guys. Yeah, I don't know when the shirts are, are going to be done. Soon. I've already got the first design done, and I'm probably going to work on another one. And as far as, uh, Grave of Man Shattered Planet shirts... They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Uh, as far as merch for the D&D &D campaign, that's actually a shell thing to some degree. Um, so she can... Uh, she'll be the one working on that. So what's Bello do? Reduces damage. Extra... Oh! Crits receive chance plus 5% while well marked. Huh. So Bello doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it kind of slows them down and stuff. Otherwise, let's just get Rampart. Either I could get no, no, we want Defender. I'm gonna do dumb, dumb things with Donut, and we'll see how it goes.
Ambushed Ow. by foul invention. Well, this is going to go great right off the bat. I mean, we've got three-ish heavy hitters, so I think it should be fine. Now, this is just complete 100% of room battles. So we can actually ignore this one. Uh, but let's not. Let's, actu let's actually go this way. Oh, what sword trinket do I have on my bounty hunter? It just increases damage by like 25%, I think it was? Yeah. Uh, nameless sword. 15% damage, 25% resolve EXP. Which is pretty useful. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we have Serpent Sway. I don't have Impale, because... Oh, I put her in the... I put her in the back. Well, whatever. Let's just stab the fiend falls, little piggy. A faint hope blossoms. Let's see. Come hither. That is such a cool visual. Okay. And we've got... No, we have Bolster. We want to do Retribution. Maybe. I'm just gonna... I'm just going to effectively use Donut as kind of the backline um, guard. He probably works better in other other parties, but his in, his entire uh, existing eh, his entire existence is is just to uh. Oh. Do I still have weakening curse on? I do. His entire existence is is there to to kind of protect party members if he can. He's really slow though. I I should see if I can buff up his speed. Press this advantage. Because that would help. Give them no quarter. Let's see, is that sword modded? It probably is. Yeah. Guard ally, guard you. I wonder if you can guard multiple uh, party members at the same time. Somebody's going for donut swing. What did you think would happen? Oh, we gotta bleed. Eh, whatever. Bleed isn't that big of a deal. But yeah, I've got uh, several trinket packs as part of my um, as part of my, my setup. I don't know if any of them are particularly good. Some of them all. just seem kind of generically useful. As opposed to anything else. Okay, so what was I going to do? I think this is a fine layout. Lefty's in the back. We do have some bleeders, but, like, that's understandable. Okay, right. I was taking the weird long way around. I don't remember what this gives you. Uh, it's a buff. Oh, right. This one is the one hell of a buff, too. It's, like... 30% damage increase? Yeah. Until next camp. Putting that on the bounty hunter is great. Hello. Okay. Impale. I can't wait until she gets uh, further upgraded. Because that AoE is actually probably going to be good. Oh, good. They just stunned Donut. He really is there just to tank the hits. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't, I don't think we have any, like, group hits on this, do we? Nope. Gone, Let's try and go for fiend. the ones in the back. Or, not the back, the front. Uh, I was hoping I could actually use abyssal artillery Therefore, to kill the back, too. Oh, well. It'd be nice if you could actually, offensive. like, pass your turn. Not, like, skip your turn, but just pass your turn and let somebody else go first. That would be neat. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Let's see, remember that the uh, shield Back breaker will have a flashback when you camp. Yep, I'm gonna try and avoid that, if at all possible. Wow. Oh. That's, that's real helpful. No, oh, it's Another fine. One falls. <laughs> that extra damage is nuts. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Wow, that backpack was filled with some stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're taking some damage. Uh, unfortunately, re relying on an occultist is a little bit more of a... a trial. Let's see. Do we go with this? I don't have anything to mark people. So we'll do that. Exposed to a Ow. killing blow. It's a lot of bleed. Alright, weird weird reconstruction. Don't screw me over here. Thank you very much. 
And we resisted the extra bleed. Okay, cool. So, retribution. I mean, otherwise we could actually do accuracy, crit, damage, well guarded. No, we should do this. Okay. And do we pull... Let's pull the cultist neophyte up. I think that makes her less useful. Maybe? I don't know. Makes it easy so I can hit her. Because stress... Stress is going to be what mucks me up on this Confidence run. Surges well, as the enemy that crumbles. solves the problem. I wonder if there's like a a value waiting. Uh, let's see, 17 out of 24, down 6, down 9, 7. Heal him up. Uh, I, wonder, the I wonder if there's a, a... Not a program. Um, like a waiting on how... Uh, on how like weird reconstruction works. Because it always feels like it is either like zero or really high. It almost never goes for like any of the kind of intermittent values. Okay, let's just protect her for the time being. Unfortunately, I love the man at arms. I wonder, oh, I wonder if having a party of two man at arms would actually work really well. I'm just gonna hit this guy. Annihilated. I go for marking, but it, it doesn't seem to be worth it. At least not with this group. Ow. Well, that's okay. Swine Chopper's done. Uh, let's see. I could do Serpent Sway. Let's captivate him. Hopefully we get one more round. Wreck that. <laughs> oh, right. The corpse is still marked. There it is. Okay. Come on, weird reconstruction. Give me the good stuff. Death by Perfect. Inches. Okay, so, yeah. Like I said, don't have to worry about HP too much. Awkward? Like, a little, little worried we're going to just end up bleeding a character when we desperately needed something else. We'll be fine. If a party with two men at arms, it works, just Such not against bosses. Are unsurprising. Yeah. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Well, bosses are straight up kind of like a. I'm not going to say a guarantee. Um, but you need, you need to burn bosses down quick. So the man at arms would work well, like in a in just like a party of well, two man at arms. Because the thing is, like I bet command would uh, would stack. So two man at arms, and then like either a healer, some kind of healer, and some kind of extreme DPS. I bet you'd be able to do a ton of damage. Let's see, captivate serpent sway. Let's do Serpent Sway, actually. Oh, right. Moves her forward, too. Okay, and Abyssal Artillery. Another there we abomination go. Cleansed from our lands. That de-stresses him a little bit. So we could we could conceivably camp at some point here. Executed with and impunity. not be in trouble. I think I might save that for the end, though. And hopefully, hopefully we get to camp first. Because if we camp first, that that kind of solves problems. Okay, who's first? Spider's just going nuts. Let's do another Serpent Sway. This thing will die at any point. I kind of, I'm hoping the Occultist gets gets his turn. The answer is no. I could mark him for death, though. Weird reconstruction on him. Crit the for 20. Jeez. I mean, with the bleed, it's kind of an inconvenience, but whatever. There we go. Yeah, you stack the two men at arms. The problem is it takes a few turns, but by, by that time you lose half the party's health. No, Success that is so clearly in view. That is or absolutely is it merely true. a trick of the light. Let's see. Cannot be cleansed. Oh. Hundred percent chance of buff, fifteen percent damage, ten percent accuracy, five percent crit. Hell yeah. Plus 45% damage, speed, accuracy, crit. Oh, he is monstrous right now. That's exciting. Yeah, I wonder... I feel like, um... Actually, you know, I might even make, like, a, a mod myself. I've been looking into it, and it's actually not that hard. I think it would be kind of fun to, um... Curious to mod Man-at-Arms. 
His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. So like, I really I think just his guard move. That's I think the only the only thing that really needs to be changed. Um if his defender also triggered retribution, that would be perfect. I bet I could do that actually. It'd be tough. Let's just buff the target. The retribution isn't working out that that well. Well, that was dismal. Because yeah, it would be interesting to get the man at arms to be an in interesting, like kind of defender character. He's already kind of there, but like because of the way the rest of this game works, you're right. It, by the time I actually get him to be functional, it's it's too late. Okay, so we've got the drummer. The drummer in the back's a pain. However, let's just go for this. We did not kill the swine chopper. I'm kind of impressed and a little worried. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, creeping cough. What's that one do? Uh, uh, creeping cough. There we go. Minus 20% damage. Ah, oh, that sucks. Let's do... Let's do Demon's Pull. Let's bring in the Swine Drummer. See if I can kill him faster. Uh, let's see. Do we have... We have Captivate. It's not marked. Should just kill him. Snakes! <laughs> I just like to imagine that, like, the, uh... The Shield Breaker is just carrying around... Uh... A bunch... Wow, there's the damage. Yeah, even with the minus 20%, we still do, uh, a fair amount. Um, but I'm, I'm just imagining the shield breaker is just carrying around a bag full of snakes and is like, <laughs> What do you want me to do? Snakes! Gotcha! Just hucks snakes at, at her foes. Yeah, I should have gone with Retribution. Maybe. I don't know. Decimated. At least we're just crit blasting everything. Everything and its mother. And yeah, the shield breaker is actually doing a decent amount of damage. This expedition at least promises success. Well, nothing to do with that. But remember, right, that one just gives you like bad, bad traits. I think it's got like a chance of giving you something good, but. Eh. Oh man, I can't. I can barely even remember when I first played this game and didn't know. Uh, didn't know how to play, didn't know what all of the uh, the relics and stuff did. I'm glad I know now. It's it certainly made it made it easier. It feels a little kind of cheaty to have a list at this point, but uh, eh. otherwise I'm just going to continuously make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Cause, yeah, I'm paying attention to other stuff. I'll be the first to admit. Right. Now I could do other things, or we could just wail on them. I should. Yeah, we we could use a. Oh, I messed up. Whatever. Accuracy crit. He's useless from the backside. Or backside the. He's useless from the back, but I guess that's not so bad. That's just. Cool. I don't think anybody's particularly wounded here. Yeah. No, we're good. Come on, Bonesley. It may take you for a wild ride. It's called my sword straight through your ribs. Remind yourself that overconfidence I need to work on my one -liners. is a slow like, and insidious killer. I've had some like okay one-liners in the past, but I, I bet with some practice I could get pretty pretty good at one-linering. See, do we want to do serpent sway? Let's do serpent sway. This is going to be a slightly longer fight. We might as well uh, put her in a position to hit the entire team. So what's the debuff? Ah, it just reduces dodge. Oh. Did his his buff actually carried over between rounds? That's cool. More buffs. It just extended. There we go. Ah, I was hoping for a crit. No crits for Wanda body. A devastating blow. I love I love going crits. I should. Oh, jeez, he's yeah, he's got a 33% chance to crit right now. I guess like 12% of that is is straight up from um, no half of that 
is from buffs. Let's do an impale. There we go. Uh, I love crits, though, because they don't leave a corpse if you crit them. Which makes my life a lot easier. And yeah, one block remains. So, uh, that means is uh, she just automatically blocks whatever hit. Huh. Do any of the other characters have a block move like Impressive. that? Impressive. He's... He is critting way more often than a third of his hits. I guess that's how it feels. I do not have any complaints about. Oh, let's see. Do we do... Keep doing command? Keep doing command! Can he just repeatedly cast command over and over and over again? Is it... I... A singular Kind of looks like it. Well, it works for me. And Seize anything this else. Momentum. We're almost done. And Push we should probably rest while we're end. here. Start working on those snakes, maybe? Actually, maybe not. The more we push it off, the higher level she's going to be able to get. Yeah, what do you guys think? If should I, uh... If treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Should we... Should we focus on the, the Shield Breaker story mission? Or should we push it off... In favor of... I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more. Uh, push it off in favor of uh, doing it later when we're stronger. Very, very nice here, party. Actually, at this point, I'm just... I'm not even... <laughs> I'm just keeping the man in the arms in the back. So I can just repeatedly buff the whole party. Because, yeah, I could reorganize the party. It would work. But I could also do this, which decisive also works. Decisive pummeling. You've survived. Come hither, you, Drumsley. And they're not doing a whole lot of damage, at least. If you do decide to camp, I'd recommend applying as many camping buffs to the shield breaker as possible. Oh! Oh, do you only get to use the shield breaker? Do you not do you not get the rest of your party? Because yeah, if it's only my shield breaker, then yeah, we're gonna want to hold off and probably do a specific run when she's stronger. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, well then, I don't know. Let's just kill everything. Finish this mission and let these guys have some RR. &R. They're definitely creeping up there. I, I'll probably switch out the man at arms. Those buffs are nice, but I think these they'd be better. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I bet those buffs would be better if I had a pair of like particularly hefty bruisers, like uh, the Ronin and a the leper. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Okay, so what kind of bad next did we get? So mercurial, reduced virtue virtue chance. Ascetic. Ooh, ascetic's tough. Armor Tinker ain't bad, though. 